Here's Tony. Off and running, they have uh, two miles ahead of them as they run down the straight and prominent on the inside, happy to be here. Black Sorrow is up there too, as is Purcell's Bridge and their fellow towards the outside by Sustainable Legacy. Just in behind the leaders is Dr. Tommy with Gimli's return. They're followed by Rodriguez on the inside and behind Rodriguez is Boston Memory. Black Sorrow, the leader from Happy to Be Here, Percy's Bridge, Gimli's Return, Rodriguez, the inside of Dr. Tommy, then Mr. Carson, Boston Memory, Tubbs and Jugs is next, Definite Ridge. They're followed into the turn by Moya Liff as they swing away from the stands. Black Sorrow, the leader, followed by Purcell's Bridge in second and third is Gimney's return and then Dr. Tommy, followed by Mr. Carson, Rodriguez, happy to be here, Boston Memory is next, Tubbs and Jugs behind these with Moy Lift, Definite Ridge and then Ted Zarascal, Vinny's Pride, Sustainable Legacy, behind these is Band of Luck as they race downhill towards the far side of the course and Black Zorro on the inside of Persons Bridge. Mr. Carson close up on the outside, Gimli's return is just behind them on the inner. They're being followed by Dr. Tommy and happy to be here and Rodriguez. Then Boston Memory, Definite Bridge in the next group with Moyliff on the outside. As they start the turn now, taking them down the far side of the course. It's Persons Bridge on the outside of Black Zorro. Just behind them in third is Mr. Carson. Gimley's return is next, then comes Happy to be here. And as they straighten up on the far side of the course now, and Black Zorro on the inside of Persons Bridge. Purple and yellow colours of Mr. Carson. Gimley's return next on the rails. Then Dr. Tommy, happy to be here. Then Boston Memory and Rodriguez. Moyliff is next with Definite Ridge. Sustainable Legacy isn't far behind them. As they race down now towards the last seven furlongs, and Persons Bridge is the leader on the inside. Black Zorro. Then comes. Happy to be here with Mr. Carson, given his return, just behind these Rodriguez, Tubbs and Jugs is on the inside, making a bit of ground towards the outside as I'm in charge, as they near the end of the back straight. Persons Bridge, Black Zorro, Gimney's return, happy to be here, Mr. Carson. Behind these is Dr. Tommy, then Rodriguez, Boston Memory, I'm in charge, Definite Ridge, Tubbs and Jugs, Moylif makes ground, Sustainable Legacy is next. Behind these is Band of Luck as they race now towards the last half mile and on the inside Black Zorro just been overtaken by Persons Bridge with Gimney's return there. Happy to be here just behind them with Dr. Tommy Boston Memory making ground on the outside is Maller Tree as they race on now to start the final bend and it's Persons Bridge from Gimney's return in second. They're followed by Black Zorro, Dr. Tommy Moyliff and Maller Tree are coming there and from the back the Westerner boys making ground as also uh, getting into contention is Texas Jack as they run the turn. Parcels Bridge on the inside, Maller Tree and the nose band and the green and red colours on the outside. Maya Liff is just in behind them and they're being followed around the turn by Gimley's return. Parcels Bridge and Maller Tree. Texas Jack is making ground, so too is Johannesburger towards the inside, then Moya Liff as they race now towards the final furlong, and it's Mallard Tree on the near side of Parsons Bridge, they're chased by Texas Jack and Johannes Berger, they're inside the final furlong now, and coming there on the near side, Texas Jack, Texas Jack as they race up towards the line, Texas Jack has it, Mallard Tree and Parsons Bridge tight between them for second, Johannes Berger is in fourth, and they're well clear of Westerner Boy, then Jim Lee's return, Definite Ridge, happy to be here as next with uh, Ballymo boy trailing right back through the field towards the back. Uh, Shinrock beat will be the last one to go by. But number four, Texas Jack, has won it, owned by Robert Watson, trained by Noel Mead, ridden by Jason McKeown, has uh, landed this bumper coming from well off the pace to get on top well inside the final furlong. But this horse came and did it well, Texas Jack, a curtain time horse, only cost 12000 at the sale, bought by Mags O'Toole, and Mags is here herself too, buys a lot of old Meads horses, Mags does, and this fella's come and done it well, bred by Fergal O'Donnell.
time on a sailor's run, uh, but he came and did it nicely. The two horses in front looked like they were going to battle it out, uh, Mallard Tree and uh, Purcell's Bridge, and they both ran good races. I thought at this stage that Mark Fahey was going to get the better of Corky Carroll on Purcell's Bridge as he came to do it, but once Jason McKeown uh, pulled this or uh, Jason McKeown pulled this horse out. He found a bit more uh, in the last uh, furlong. Knowles is fourth as well, ran a big race back in fourth place with Nina, but this fella found just a bit more and has gone and won well. As I said before, and Knowles too looked two of the pick of the ring uh, condition wise and everything else. Knowles a great record in bumpers over the years and has his old horses very straight. Look at his old horses. All these horses have run well, these first three or four, and uh, not a lot to choose between them. They're a nice bunch of horses, and you'll hear more about them. Got a few tears into him there, and he ran on well down to the line. Texas Jack. Nice buy you 12 grand. The second uh, only cost 10, and the third horse uh, cost 12. So, like for 12, 34,000, uh, you could have owned the first, second, and third. Wouldn't be a bad day. Grand big uh, ear in this one as well, too. Tracy is with Noel Mead. She might tell us uh, why he picked him out or why Mags did. Why do you think. Uh you were just saying there, uh, why uh, why did you pick this fellow out? Uh, well, he can see why now, but uh, He's before... He's a half brother's your drum canvas. Yes. Thank you. Lovely uh, pedigree. And uh, we just liked him to say that I, uh, he's a nice horse. He, he's he's going to be he's going to be a nice horse when he gets the summer over him now. You know. Came from off the pace, and my goodness, he did it well. Yeah, he did. He did. He quickened up really well. He's he's possibly a real nice horse. Yeah. Yeah, he really is. Fourth with the other fella. The other fella ran well. He was very green. The other guy. He just didn't get into the rhythm of the race at all until it was over. But I think he'd be a nice horse too. Well done. Oh, thanks very Great much. Stuff. Okay. Well done, Noel. Thank you. Well, I must say, full marks to Noel. He really has uh, mastered the art of training. <laughs> and bumper winners are so many of them. This fella came and, just as we were writing in uh, Johnny Harrington's runner, uh, along comes Texas Jack, half-brother to Drum Convis, a family that Noel knows well, picked him out for 12,000. Mags uh, O'Toole and... He's, son of, he's a son of Curtain Time, who's, who's by saddle as well. So he was trained by Henry Cecil, the sire, and he ran three times and he won a maiden. So, uh, he, Brian, uh, you, know, uh, you know a bit about uh, uh, Curtain Time. Yeah, he stands down near Lamey Brian near Dungarvan with a uh, well-known man, Liam Norris, uh, at Woodfield Farm. Uh, stood, knows the time of day, this uh, Curtain Time. Uh, Walla Connors bought a few, but this will be a great uh, Philip for the Norris uh, family with Curtain Time son Texas Jack winning the Scots Land Rover bumper. I think he's that's a good family, Curtain Time, with the sleepy time and all that. Um, Sa Saeed pedigree, Robert Hall, you'd know it very well. Son of Saddle as well, very, very well bred. This will be a good Philip for the Norrises down there in Woodfield Farm stuff. I think you're spot on, Brian. It's a great family. Not the like about the way this old horse went to the line too when you got a few tears. Jason McKeown is a uh, but doesn't ride. A, it rides a bit for Noel. Doesn't ride. Nina rides most of them. Jason's up from that neck of the woods. He was a champion European uh, rider a few times. He uh, went to farm and rode in France and rode in Belgium. Rode everywhere else. Very good rider. Small enough to be uh, a jump jockey if he wanted to be, but he uh, rides as an amateur uh, for a good number of years now. Very good rider. Rides a lot of winners. As I said, not attached to any one particular stable. But rides a lot, Jason. He did turn conditional, but then uh, came back to. Uh, Amateur status to ride a point of points. Oh, well done to all connected, a valuable pot and uh, a 12,000 euro purchase. So uh, a good day out. Good run by the runner up, Malatry. I thought uh, he was going to win at one stage. He swept into the lead, and I thought Mark Fahey. Must have been thinking he was going to land himself in the winner's enclosure. No. Uh, Nicola Russell with Aidan nearest to us and uh, Charlie Swan as well. It's like one of the murals you see up on the bog side. Yeah. <laughs> Jason will be making his way over to us. Ta um, Texas Jack, he's a half-brother to Drum Convis, and I have a funny feeling that Jason rode Drum Convis, but uh, we'll see about that, learn a bit more about it all. Jennifer Walsh escorting 
Jason over to us. And don't forget, we've still got another great one ahead of us. Jason, many congratulations. Uh, done it in great style here. Uh, swoop, late and decisive. Yeah, he did. Uh, they're probably going quick enough for me all the same. And um, the horse took me into the race. Um, he was lucky that he got all the breaks that he did in the race. And uh, he took them well. Um, he picked up well for me. And um, as I say, you know, he got all the breaks in the race. And I was lucky enough to get the breaks in the big field. So he done her well in the yes, end. Just, just, just talk us through the closing stages then. Just there. I, I didn't think I was going to pick up from there. Um, I still had a good bit of ground made up. The two lads got away there in front, but in fairness to my lad, no one told me before he went out, he says he stays very well. Um, I just thought it was out of my depth there, but he kept picking up, but it was just a penny didn't really drop it until halfway up the straight. And, you know, once he realised what he had to do, he went on and done it. So um, it was brilliant now, and, and I have to thank Noel Mead for giving me the ride and the owners on the horse today. So He's a hard brother good. to drum convist. Do you know the family? Uh, I know the horse, Tony Martin had him. And, Tony uh, Martin, yeah. So, no, Noel was sweet on him now. SP on the Goffs Land Rover bumper, the curtain time gelding, Texas Jack, winning by two lengths at 14 to 1, and the Land Rover going to Fergal O'Donnell. Jason McKeown steering him home from Mallard Tree, second at 16 to 1 for Jessica Harrington, and uh, owned by Johnny Harrington. And third was uh, number 19, uh, Purcell's Bridge, the trampoline gelding, steered by Corky Carroll, was third at 12 to 1. The joint, the, uh, joint favourites, both on placed horses, seven Black Zorro and horses 17 uh, Maya Lift. They were both on place. The absentees were the three reserves. We had 25 rand.